Hey guys, today we are testing this. Uh, this is a device that will help you touch the temperature of the world. This is a P2 Pro by Infiray and it was made for iOS, but there's also an Android or universal USB-C device. So let's go quickly through the box, then we will check the features and then we are going to use it in a vehicle for some real life applications. So we are going to check maybe the air vents uh, of the AC system. We are going to look under the hood, check um, what's the hottest element over there. And then we are going to use the micro lens, which is over here to check uh, some electronic boards from close, uh, from close, uh, from a close up. Okay, so first of all, you can see the device over here. It's very small. Here's a um, unit camera, thermal camera, which I've reviewed some time ago, and you can already see how those two compare in size. Yeah, we have the, um, we have the micro lens over here, which attaches, is attached magnetically by magnets. Yeah, there's a lens cover over here, and this clicks really nicely. Okay, and also in the box, we have this little envelope. Inside you will find three things. We have warranty, we have short user manual, and we have this carrying pouch. Okay, so let's take an iOS device. Let's unlock it. And when you first connect this to your phone, you will have a pop-up with a a uh, link that will take you to the App Store um, uh, asking you to download the correct application. I have it already over here. So let's turn it on. And after a few seconds, yeah, we have the image from the thermal camera. So let's quickly go through the user interface over here and then we are going to um, check it in the vehicle. So first of all, we have the lowest, the highest temperature and the temperature in the center. So you have three readouts, three live readouts at all time. We have the photo taking button over here. We can uh, change it to video so we can record the videos. We have a link to the gallery. We can change the color palette. By default, it's this uh, white is hot, but you can change it to something else. There's a lot to choose from. Maybe let's stay in this one for now. And over here you have some uh, additional settings. You can change the image brightness and contrast. You can change the measurement mode into uh, high image quality or wide range. We are going to stay over here. And um, we have environmental variables um, settings over here, like the material settings and ambient temperature. And also we have some image settings like the image flip. Yeah, image rotation and image flip. And in the upper corner, we have device calibration, which happens automatically if needed. We have uh, this additional picture in picture from the, from the built-in camera of your phone, not the thermal vision, yeah. So we have, um, you are using the uh, built-in um, camera over here. You can drag it so it's not, uh, uh, so it's not in your um, working area. Let's go like this. And over here in upper left corner, this is the cool part. You have professional mode. If you go over here, you can see that we don't have those three automatic readouts, but instead we can check uh, point. If we want to check a temperature of a certain point or more than one, we can draw a frame or two that we want to check. We can draw a line across which um, the temperature should be measured. And over here, you have all those temperature. And of course, if you take a screenshot, if you take a photo over here, you will have those on screen, on screen display informations. Yeah, you can also switch to video and record a simple video. Of course, this is most useful if you are using a tripod, yeah, because those uh, points are um, uh, in fixed positions. Yeah, and if you move your a device, you are measuring a lot of different things, yeah? So use this with a tripod. Okay, so this is how I've tested it in the vehicle. Engine on, AC on, and fan somewhere over here. Three out of, how many is it? Seven, yeah. Uh, lowest temperature, middle vent, 
and the device was uh, mounted on a tripod on the rear seats and I was measuring one, two, three vents uh, checking how it uh, reads out, yeah? The engine was uh, still pretty cold and the AC system had, uh, didn't have time to cool down so we have those measurements uh, first measurements are pretty high actually but the next one were um, uh, more accurate yes when I use the area measure measuring tool instead of the point measuring tool because sometimes when you are setting a point you can uh, you can just hit the uh, this piece instead of the colder one colder area inside so that depends uh, how well you are aiming with the point but if you just uh, frame it like this it will find the coldest place uh, in the frame so you will you will pick up the uh, uh, you will pick up how cold the air over here is okay so let's check what we can see over here this engine is warm yeah we can see that the return line to the reservoir fluid is at 61 degrees something like that we can see that over here over here there's a turbocharger which is actually pretty hot 120 130 uh, in peak remember that this vehicle was just sitting in idle for a couple couple minutes um, we have another I believe uh, this is uh, coolant the uh, coolant line over here which is pretty warm compared to the background this thing is pretty hot this is a solenoid valve i believe for the vari variable geometry uh, turbine and well those solenoids can get really hot what else can we see over here we have the accessory belt over here we cannot see it uh, almost cannot see it with the uh, normal camera but in the infrared we can check it without problem yeah that's cool we can see which line of on the on the fuel uh, line on the fuel filter which line is the return line with the uh, warm fuel that uh, came back from the engine can we see something cool over here something cool or something really hot we can check if the battery it's not heating up, it's not, that's pretty normal. We can see the fuse box, which got a little hotter than the surrounding elements, but this is black plastic, so it heats up pretty uh, pretty quick, especially with the hood open, yeah. What's else over here? Can we find something interesting? The radiator, the intercooler, this is the ACC radar and half of it was in shade. Maybe let's check the exhaust. You can see that the brakes are cold because this vehicle was not driven. Where's the exhaust? Oh, it's over here. And we can see that it's slightly warmer than the rest. As I said, this vehicle was not driven right now. It was just idling over here for a couple of minutes. And inside, screen gets hot pretty fast in those vehicles. Vents are cold. And that's pretty much it. And over here I have Raspberry Pi, so we are going to check it with the thermal imaging. Let's start recording. But the closer we get, the more blurry the image gets so this is the job for the for the micro lens yeah it snaps into place and right now wow right now we can get really close to it to check if everything is okay if everything is within the standard temperature range yeah that's pretty cool Where's the CPU? I believe underneath over here is the CPU. And when you are done, you can just use the cup like this and remove it. Oh, 
and stop recording. Maybe let's talk pros and cons. First of all, the, the size is great. Yeah, this is very, very small. I like it. And the micro lens for, especially for the electronics inspection is very cool. It works pretty well. The image is very sharp. We have high um, frames per second. So that's also cool. We have this carrying pouch, which, well, let me just open it because I don't want to use this box. I want to do, I want to use this thing is, instead. And uh, well, those features in the application, those are really cool. Yes, those pro features are, are extremely cool. Can you fit it inside over here? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe this needs to be loosened up. No, this is as white as it gets. No, okay, now it fits. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where were I? Oh, okay, the wide range of features is very cool. And you have option for iOS and uh, you have USB-C option for Android devices. And I believe the upcoming iPhones, we, because those, were, those will be USB-C as well. Yeah. And uh, well, the price. 300 bucks, but there's a 20 bucks coupon in the description below this video. When it comes to cons of this device, I have to mention the price and I believe I have this feeling that this is a little bit fragile. Yeah, um, compared to this one, this looks like you can drop it from uh, from a couple meters and it will be just fine. Yeah, and this, this looks like a piece of jewelry. You want to keep it safe. And I believe it doesn't record audio in the application. So when you are recording video and uh, you want to make some comments, well, it just ignores the microphone input. I'm not sure if this is a, a bug or this is just how it, uh, how it works and it never will be working uh, any different way. But well, just, I, I feel just, uh, I just feel that I need to mention this. Okay, so that's it. Um, check the description for the coupon code and uh, more technical specification and see you soon.